LED technology is going in two directions. One is bigger and brighter, the other is smaller and more portable. The Aperture MC Pocket Light has proven to be very, very popular recently, and as such, they now have a four and a 12 light kit, which is really cool, but there are a plethora of other options available, and I have a couple with me today, so I'm gonna show you the differences between them and how I've been using them in my work recently. Okay, so let me introduce the team. We have the Lido Light 5C from Nanlite, the Pavo Tube 6C Tube Light, also from Nanlite, and the aforementioned Aperture MC Pocket Light. So let's just start by comparing the light power. Now the Aperture MC has a built-in diffusion, which will draw off the light output, whereas the Lido 5C has bare bulbs with a diffusion attachment. As such, with all lights at 100%, the Lido comes in at 840 lux. When I add the diffusion to the Lido, it drops to 130 lux. The Aperture comes in at 150 lux, and the Pavo Tube comes in at 260 lux. One note about using the MC or Lido without diffusion. Because it's bare bulbs in the case of the Lido, or just a very close diffusion panel in the case of the MC, both lights are going to cast multiple shadows. So if you're going to see the shadow cast in your shot, then you're going to need to use a diffuser or bounce the light. The diffusion for the Lido Light 5C works really well and stays on pretty securely as long as you don't knock it. To examine color accuracy, I dial the lights to 5600 Kelvin with no green or magenta added and the light's metered at 5200 plus one green for the Lido Light 5C, which means the light contains traces of magenta. The Pavo Tube 6C comes in a bit cooler at 5700 with the same hint of magenta. And finally, the Aperture MC is the most color accurate coming in at 5400 with no green or magenta shift. But it is worth mentioning with these lights that you can change the green or magenta tint. When it comes to using these lights, they do very similar things but go about it in a slightly different way. The MC uses only one pressable dial to toggle between the settings. The Lido has independent buttons for toggling, as does the Pavo Tube. One great feature across all these types of lights is that they're all magnetic, with the only difference being that the Pavo Tube comes with a few pieces of metal that you can tape up with paper tape and thus make any surface magnetic. And as for battery power, at 100%, the Pavo Tube 6C lasts about 65 minutes the Lido Light 5C at 90 minutes, and the MC comes out ahead at 120 minutes. Okay, so let's talk usage here. Now, when I mean usage, it's sort of limitless based on your own creativity, of course, but when it comes to how I've been using these lights in the last couple of months, I'm always continuously using it in two or three different ways. So let's dive into these. Quite often, I use these lights for tabletop or product shots. These lights can be rigged easily to small arms and without a ton of stands, which makes tabletop easy when space is limited like it is in my living room. I threw these samples together for the video, and I'm not gonna win any awards with these shots, but you get the idea. Another great aspect of these small lights are how easy they are to move around, which allows you to create some really fun light effects. Here's a little motion number I threw together. Some photographers take reality as the sculptor takes wood or stone, and upon it impose the dominations of their own thought and spirit. Others come before reality, more tender. A photograph to them is an instrument of love and revelation. The second is for interview lighting. While these tiny lights won't give you the best light for faces, they can work in a pinch. And the third is just purely environmental lighting. I've recently used these to accent lighting or to give a boost of light from a computer screen. Overall, my favorite light to use in the bunch was the Pavo Tube. It's the easiest to use and provides the highest output for a diffused light source. If you want the brightest option available, then that's the Lido Light 5C. Right now, the Pavo Tube 6C can be controlled with a DMX Wi-Fi controller, which is great, um, but the Lido Light doesn't have any remote controlling yet, although I'm told that there is an app coming for it. Now, what I love about the Aperture MC is its crazy long battery life and the Sidious Link app, which controls not just the MC, but a host of other Aperture products. It's also a bit more of a compact fixture, and I love the color accuracy. And that's it for today. Thanks so much for watching, guys. As always, please subscribe to this channel for more videos like this and comment in the comment section below. It doesn't just help the algorithm. I really want to know how you guys are creatively using these little lights and we want to share that information with the community so we all get better together. And that's it. As always, go there, have some fun, and happy shooting. Peace.